Sean and Amy rolled into town about five years ago and we knew that they had bought one of the nicest properties in town and then what we watched them do was a super spot-on historic renovation. The narrative that Amy and Sean have started to bring to the forefront is that there is culture here and that people care about the area. It's kind of <laughs> cliche, but we do, we love it here. I mean, the air feels different and just our attitude is different when we're here. It's just kind of a neat place to be. It's too early to eat ice cream. It's a little too early, but it's awfully good. My name's Sean Means, and my wife Amy and I have Lafayette Flats here in Fayetteville, West Virginia. It's a vacation rental in downtown Fayetteville, built inside of a 100-year-old bank building. We wanted to create an alternative narrative of West Virginia. We wanted people to be surprised by what they found. We know that sometimes West Virginia doesn't always have a great reputation, but we wanted to be able to share the real West Virginia with people that were coming here to visit. We really think this is our mission to kind of create that alternative narrative for the people that come here. Our clientele is a, is a good mix of folks who come here. We have people that are into the hardcore whitewater rafting. We've had people that have come from all over the country to do climbing. And then we have people that just want to experience the small town of Fayetteville, you know, that just want to spend time walking around and going in the shops and trying out the restaurants. One of the things that we, we knew we wanted to do with this space was to fill it with art. We knew that that was not something that we could do immediately because art is expensive. And then one day, out of the blue, Amy got a call from our friend Mark Tobin Moore. He called and said he would like to give us um, a lot of his personal collection of West Virginia art. First of all, Amy and Sean are great. And I knew I was doing it for them, but I also knew that eventually this would become a showcase. And I thought, you know, man, this would be the place for people to see art. They could spend time with it. They could just live around it. That's what I love to do. There's original art throughout the common areas of the building, and then all of the flats have original West Virginia art in this well. also use our vacation rentals as a way to support the arts. Every year we set aside a little bit of money that we make from the rentals and we purchase a piece of West Virginia art to add to the collection. This year it was um, a piece by Meredith Gregg that we purchased and she's a Fayetteville artist. The way that Sean and Amy have helped the community of artists is bringing awareness to the community by their annual purchase of West Virginia artists. And then their incredible art exhibit that they have at Lafayette Flats is uh, amazing. I think if it were not for services like HomeAway, that we wouldn't have had the ability to, to operate this. It's just very easy to be able to approve people and to process the booking.
West Virginia is a little bit of a hidden gem, you know. Most people don't know how great it is, and, and we feel fortunate that we do, you know, that we can call this place home and we know the real West Virginia and the beauty that is West Virginia. This was one of the reasons that we got into the vacation rental business, is to help people see this.